We'll start with uh, breaking news for you this hour on RT International. Fresh protests against the controversial labour reforms have hit Paris. Hundreds have gathered in the capital to show their anger against the government's plans. Police have used tear gas to disperse the demonstrators. I'm joined live now by RT contributor Anna Baranova, who's in the heart of the French capital. Anna, thanks for joining us. Uh, what's the situation there at the moment where you are? Well, there are thousands of people out here, thousands of people out here, and I think it's important to say that not all of them are from trade unions. This is a very mixed, a very diverse crowd. There are students here. There are the usual participants of Nuit Debout here. And of course, there are the so-called French uh, casseurs. They're the troublemakers. They're the ones who come in here to start trouble with police. And that's when violence erupts. We uh, were just out of a very heavy cloud of uh, tear gas. Uh, that was a result of a provocation again when the police had to use lots of it to disperse crowds from uh, one of the areas that we were passing. Traditionally, uh, like uh, manifestations uh, take place here in Paris, we're walking from one destination to another. And just as I said, uh, thousands of people are out in the streets. Of course, all of this is part of an anti-labor law uh, movement. This isn't only happening in Paris today. Uh, there's already been uh, uh, protests already took place in Nantes and Rennes, and uh, we've already seen sparks of violence happen there as well. OK, RT contributor Anna Baranova, they're bringing us the latest on the situation in Paris. Anna, thanks so much, and uh, stay safe out there. Well, the reform will allow employers to negotiate longer working hours and lower overtime pay, something that's, of course, angered uh, French labour unions. Hundreds of thousands have been protesting across the whole country now for several weeks, calling on the government to abandon the bill. Ni l'écho, ni l'accueil qui... 